Hey guys, Pat Tokoyama here. Today I wanted to talk about three of my favorite cameras that I use for not only photography, time-lapse photography, food photography, but also my videos and cooking classes. So the first that I wanted to talk about was the Sony ZV-1 camera. So this is a compact camera. And the main reason that I ordered this was because I wanted something that I would be able to use as a C camera. So my third camera, if you've seen any of my cooking videos, you might have seen multiple angles. So one camera on myself, one camera on my counter, and another camera on my stove or cooking. So that's why I needed a third camera for my business. I mean, what I was looking for was really something that was gonna be offering 4K video quality, the ability to record proxies, also the ability to power indefinitely, either with a dummy battery or USB, and the ability to put out an HDMI signal so that I can monitor if I was doing a live cooking class, for example. In addition, I wanted something that I'd be able to use for multiple things, such as as a webcam. So when I was doing my research, there weren't that many options that hit all of those requirements. And the Sony ZV-1 seems like the best one. So before I had come from Nikon, uh, the other camera brand, and that's what I had used for my B cam and C cam. But once this came out, I decided to upgrade. With this camera, let's go ahead and talk about some of the pros and cons. It's small and light. As you can see, it fits in the palm of your hand and it doesn't feel heavy at all. Excellent B or C cam, like I was just talking about. The autofocus is excellent. It's quick and fast. It has both mic and HDMI ports so that you can record from a microphone and output via HDMI. Also, it has the functionality to use as a webcam, which I use for video conferencing calls or just regular video calls. And then also it has the ability to power zoom. So if you have a remote control, you can use control to use the power zoom function or you can use the little lever on the camera itself. So those are some of the pros for me. Some of the cons, the battery does not last that long. So if you're gonna be out and about and traveling, you're definitely gonna need at least one to two extra batteries to use throughout the day. On the other hand, if you are using this at home, uh, like I mentioned, you can just plug this into a micro USB cable and socket and it'll uh, last for a good few hours, as long as you need to use it. Two, the second con is that the lens is built in, so if you have a bunch of other Sony lenses, you wouldn't be able to use them with this camera. You're stuck with that one. Three is that it doesn't have an EVF, so if you're used to looking inside that the camera to see what it is that you're shooting, you won't have that ability since all you have is the uh, flippy display. And then fourth, and this is one of the selling points of the camera, is that it has the background blur at the push of a button. So if you're a vlogger or somebody who wants to just at the push of a button, sort of blur out that background. If you do so, it actually changes the exposure a little bit. I was kind of surprised, but it's gonna make your image darker or lighter depending on what setting that you have. So you're gonna to have to adjust your settings to make sure that the frame is properly exposed. So those are a few of the cons. Like I mentioned, I was primarily looking for this to use as a B or a C cam. And with the things that I was looking for, this met all of those needs and I've been very happy with it. I actually bought this once and then I returned it once and then I realized that it was a mistake after I didn't have it anymore. Currently, it's back in my hands and it's been great to have. It has all of the features that I had mentioned. It could be improved. Maybe they'll do that with the next version of this. But for somebody who is just starting out, maybe they're just getting into vlogging, somebody who isn't too serious about photography, just wants maybe like a point and shoot camera or something to use informally just for you know, personal reasons, or even for business, this would be a great starter camera without having to learn a, a whole bunch about photography, videography, and figuring out which, which lens you're supposed to use when. So that's my review or my two cents in a nutshell. You know, like I mentioned, if you're looking for something that's simple to use, all in one package, that's portable, this would be a great option for you.